Hey everyone, Laffy here, just wanted to give a quick announcement before the video starts and a little bit of a sponsor that I now have a Nexus.gg account where you can buy both DKO runes, the Ultimate and Founders Edition of Divine Knockout and Smite content such as the Ultimate God Pack and even Smite Gems from my store and you can support me, the link in the description is below. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, let's take a look at the patch notes. Uh... I do divine knockout.com. Perfect. Shush with the cookies. Alright. Patch notes 0 0.19 0 0.56. Hey there, Kiku. We recently released a patch to address some immediate concerns and issues. So the main the main problem that I think people had with uh for what I saw so far, the main problem that people had was that they had Issues with progression, there wasn't good enough XP in both 2s and 1s. And sometimes people struggled a little bit with XP progression anyway because of like, I think level 16 plus for people grinding their gods. Which I, 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 I think it's fair, I think the grind is fair, I think, you know, yeah. Making a grindy system for the god pass is very fair. Some, sometimes though I think people just, it was, it was just a little bit of a long stretch and they weren't earning enough XP per matches. And especially very much in, two v, in 2s and 1s. So I think them addressing progression is really good. So XP gains have increased for all queues by 10%. So that's really, really nice. XP gains in 1v1 and 2v2 are now 25% more compared to 3v3. So I assume that this will kind of put it in line or almost in line with the XP, get the game value gains that you get from 3s in 1s and 2s. And on top of that, I've also increased the win bonuses from 1.25 to 1.5 times. So yeah, that... So now for probably around like three minute twos or even ones as well, you're probably looking at like probably roughly around 600, 700 XP per match, which isn't maybe even sometimes if the matches go on for longer. So like if it goes three to two or something, that's probably a that's pro that's probably around a thousand XP. So that's that's actually really comparable to threes threes probably still gives more valuable xp than twos and ones but twos you, do, you don't get punished anymore from doing twos and ones so i think that's really really good then we go into the god bounce so is an army now has extended post fire on her abilities outside of air heavy so i uh, that means so this i think this is an okay change it means that you can't go you can't use an air light into an air heavy immediately into a seeking sickle there's now a little bit of delay in recovery out of that air heavy before she can use that seeking sickle and get a guaranteed get a KO. So I think that's completely fine. And the one that we all completely expect is Sasano. Sasano has too much presence in fights and we will address it fully late in a later patch. For now, we're bringing his light attacks in line with the rest of the characters in order to make sure the miss missing light attacks can be punished and that Sasano cannot land light attacks in a way that's abusive. Reduce the attack distance of the second light attack by 2 meters and reduced on by 2 meters on the third light attack. I think this is an okay change, but I don't think it does enough. I think that makes um, I think that now puts it in line where Amaterasu is now probably a better character than Sasano, but Sasano is like still super super strong, and I don't think that really addresses. Me I I I understand that they're gonna say they're gonna address more of Sasano later in a better patch. But I don't think that's enough, because I think most of the problems with Sasano's light chain was the distance of the thirst light attack. Light attack. I think that's the main problem. I think the main, the main problem with Sasano's auto attack chain is that you had you have the first hit of Storm Carter into a really, really long range light auto attack, and that basically allows a guaranteed hit. And I think that's where the and aside from, of course, his air combat and edge guarding, which is a very big, strong problem in and of itself. In which they said they would just like I think the main I think they could have bro brought down the attack distance of the first light attack just by a little bit and I think that probably would have put him in line with the rest of the characters but maybe I'm wrong we'll see how Sasano feels afterward we'll see how he goes and then going further on that Thanatos I'm not even going to read a lot of this but there seems to be a lot of changes for him Thanatos has been performing on underperforming slightly particularly in ones so he made a few changes to improve him for his viability in solo fights some of his talents have also been returned to increase their usefulness across all three queues so what's how do we have so the light attack increased attack distance on the first attack by two meters and increased attack distance on the on the second and third light attack by one meter that's a very massive change that means that 
now Thanatos has Sasana ring just really with his light attacks. That's a pretty big that's actually a really big buff. That's that 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 just by itself, not even touching like the rest of his kit, that's a major buff for Thanatos, and I think that's gonna really put him into edge onto being A plus I think around A plus. He's not not only does that affect him in ones where he's gonna pretty much be able to shine pretty fairly well now. That's also going to push him pretty up in 2s and 3s as well, where Thanatos is, well, in 2s and 3s, Thanatos has been falling pretty well, so he's only going to get stronger just by these buffs. And then on the Held Heavy attack, we see an increased hit window for the Held Heavy attack, which means that Held Heavy attacks are pretty much going to hit more often, which is pretty nice. And then the only change that seems to be on the abilities is that Soul Leash is now going to increase healing per orb by one. That would be five orbs for each enemy hit, which is three vulnerability per orb. So that's about 15 vulnerability to total. That should now be four vulnerability per orb, five total, which will per hit, per uh, god hit, which will be 20 vulnerability. That's a lot of vulnerability. Now, granted, of course, the Soul Leash is still a very dodgeable ability, but you know, you can always use you know, or Thanatos of the kit, like Death from Below, or even his Psy Swing, or whatever they call it now, I think it's called On the Hunt, instead of Soul Reap, which I, <laughs> for, for a Smite player, it's really confusing, but either way, so that, that, the, you, you can bait out the dodge, and then that means you can get a Soul Leech, and you're, you're getting 20 vulnerability, you, if you land that, that's basically a free health potion, and in twos and ones, where health potions just aren't always going to be accessible to a user, that's actually quite a marginal difference, and especially if you have ta the talent, the base talents of Thanatos, such as, you know, hitting abilities will, you know, hitting abilities on 100% will recover the cooldowns of the abilities just by extra seconds, by 4 seconds, that's, that's up pretty often, and that's very, very strong. And on top of that, we have other, now we move on to his talents and traits, which I do have the game up for them here, so, Blood Omen, which gets a change, so... This is his third Divine Trait at level 16, which what he got was his abilities would cost one more vulnerability to deal additional four damage per ability. Now, this has been buffed to be in line with the vulnerability. So every every ability Thanatos cast would, give, would make him cost five vulnerability. Blood Omen makes it so that it costs one more vulnerability, being six vulnerability total to deal four extra damage. But now... This has been buffed to be 6 damage, so now you're off trading, dealing the same amount of vulnerability to yourself, but to deal 6 extra damage onto that ability, and that's that, that, that pretty much evens that talent out, and I think that's really good. And on top of that, they also changed the other Divine Tree at level 7, Speed Demon, 20% to 30% buff, so now he's moving 10% faster. If he's within 25 meters of a unit of a target over 100% vulnerability, but now that's also increased to 35 meters. That's actually quite a lot of distance for this game. So Thanatos is going to be pretty level seven. Thanatos is going to be pretty pretty speedy to use as over 100% vulnerability. But I mean by that point, I think users uh, users have already been eliminated. I feel like by that point by Thanatos with all of the other changes he's got. So I don't think that makes too much change. And on top of that, we have the minor traits, Curse Scythe, on the hunt now dealing an additional 15 damage over to, to targets over 100 vulnerability. I think this is a really nice change. So, you know, it, it was a little bit on the weaker side. I think it was 10 damage before, so upping it up to 15 is... It's okay. It's, it's really nice. And then on top of that, we have its talent marked for death which was dealing an additional two damage to targets over 100% vulnerability, that is now going to be one extra damage to targets over 100% vulnerability. You think Thanatos, if you're if you're on the scale for that 100% vulnerability, you are going to be hit very, very hard by a Thanatos, and it's going to be much, much, much harder to recover from the arena against a Thanatos. And the last thing that was changed was his weaker blessing. Which was his lesser blessing weakness in numbers, which was it hits deal additional two damage when you're outnumbered within eight meters. But this has now been increased to ten meters, so that can now be up to four per attacker ability. I think this is I think it's an okay change. It it puts it within it puts it within similar movement ranges of like the wind, which is Susano's lesser blessing of gaining fifty percent movement speed, no enemies within ten meters. And I think that also evens it out. It makes it 
look better for the game you don't really want weird numbers at like eight percent you, you kind of want to keep them at like ten percent and stuff so i don't really mind that too much i think that's completely fine and then the last few changes that we have are just a couple of bug changes just fixing some up making the quality of the life of the game better so i mean my final thoughts from this patch these patch notes is i think thanatos is thanatos has been majorly buffed in a way that Thanatos is a very strong character now. He's not... What happened to Thanatos before is that he would try to use abilities and he would just end up KOing himself just by he, using his own kit and missing or using his own kit and being dodged with baits and stuff. And he was just taking way too much damage and he couldn't offload getting rid of all of that vulnerability he had because he had only... It, Soul Leech would only provide him 15 vulnerability if he hit a target. And that's not really desirable so bringing that up and bringing everything else up including his attack chain i think that makes him very very strong now and i think we're going to see a lot of thanatos over the coming few weeks and for other things i think sasano's changes are just too weak there i i know they said they are going to address him fully later on in the patch but he's for the first patch notes for such a slap on the wrist i think they could have done just a little bit more to make sasano a little bit weaker but uh, I don't know. I guess it's their choice. I mean, what do I know? I, th I think Satano could use a little bit of changes, but we, we we can only wait for the next patch notes that's to come, potentially either within a few weeks, within maybe a month. I, don't, I We're not really sure. We still don't have a roadmap yet. We still don't really have like any plan of content. This is just the first kind of kind of i guess major update that's been brought to the game it feels like a little bit of a small update because i mean we were we aren't seeing content we aren't seeing new maps we're just seeing a little bit of balance a little bit of progression changes and we're seeing a little bit of bug fixes so for, for a little minor patch it's okay i, th I think they over to i think they overtuned thanatos just a little bit and i think the nerfs they made to sasano were just too much of a slap on the wrist they they Yes, the, these changes for Sasano mean that Amaterasu is now the best character in the game, pretty much on the board, but uh, it's hard to argue it, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see for the future and see how, like, how, 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 how this will affect them majorly nerfing Sasano in the next patch. For all we know, he could just get slapped on the wrist again, or he could just completely be wiped off the game and made, and, like, over nerfed. But we can only wait for that, so that's all for the patch notes for now. I am Laffy, here to discuss this live and kind of first react to this, and uh, see you all next time.